Game number two here between Dream and Daisy. Will Daisy be able to bring it back? Poland, are you ready for game number two? I think so, I think so. I do too, as we do have Daisy composed, concentrated here, looking to move on, and we do have Antigua Shipyard for our next game. Crowd behind Daisy here. Currently trailing zero to one and into Antigua shipyards. We now go. Yep. <laughs> well, for now we have to introduce our player spawning at the top. <laughs> anyway, so spawning up to the northern position, guys. It seems you guys quite like him a lot. Give it up for Daisy. And another player that deserves your cheers, Poland. Give it up for Dream! Antigua Shipyard, one of the more difficult maps here for Protoss and Dream's already opened up with a complicated build for Daisy to try and figure out what's going on with his Supply Depot Barracks, Supply Depot Wall. And he's not going to have any idea whether a gas is going to be taken or not. And that is quite important on a map like this. Yep. <laughs> well, do you read Polish? It appears Daisy has learned some Polish. I think it's I Love Poland, something like that. Something like that. <laughs> well, the crowd appreciated it, so... They certainly did. Daisy making some fans. You can hear them, guys. I can't hear myself think. That's right, a very loud audience here today, supporting Daisy. Looks like they've chosen him. And he's going to need all the support he can get to be able to bring down Dream, the 16-year-old from Team MVP in Korea. He's a Code A level player. He hasn't really hit Code S before. He did play in the up and downs most recently, but unfortunately did go one win to four losses in a very, very difficult group. But in a foreign tournament, in a tournament that doesn't consist of very many high-level Code S players, He's smashing it here. Yeah, doing really, really well for himself here now. Well, we have the SCV barely escaping there from Daisy. And Daisy, meanwhile, actually moving is, is that just the scouting probe? Because if so, then he doesn't, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so he is going to maybe a proxy position once again here against the, against Dream. Or it might just be indeed that initial pylon uh, to eventually warp in, but that looks more like building is gonna be hidden. Looks like it. He's got double gases back here. Are we going to see a Twilight Council come down? Are we going to see the Robo uh, in this position here? I think it's going to be Twilight, but we'll see in a couple of moments' time once that pylon finishes up. He's about to have the resources necessary. I'll go with... Ooh, Stargate here. He really likes this play. He does like his Stargates, <laughs> doesn't he? Not so common as of recent. Doesn't lose any hit points there, does lose its shield, but of course will regenerate. And behind this, Dream's got a very normal opening, but there is an SCV that's escaped. Yep. He's on the way to scout out what's going on in his opponent's base. I think he may end up seeing, you know, the lack of an... Oh no, wait, the expansion might go down in just a little bit here for Daisy. Dream will poke up and no, actually he's just going to commit to even more gateways at that proxy location. Uh, this is going to confuse oh, him because he doesn't see the natural. Dream, Ooh. that's such a big scout for Dream there. And now all of a sudden he's like, all right, it's six minutes in the game. You do not have an expansion. The, mo the most common build on this map um, is usually going to be a Blink Stalker play here. Yes. Which is why that's what I thought was going to come out. But a scan goes down, sees double gas, doesn't see anything. And that's going to be a little bit confusing there. He may now think that it's not going to be a Blink Stalker play. But with oh. that bunker placement, that bunker placement is there to deal with an observer, to deal with stalkers coming in. A third bunker going down as well, willing to sacrifice the natural. I don't wow. think this play from Daisy is going to get too many successful results here, unfortunately. Dream preparing himself fantastically, considering his scouting. As for now, he will poke up. There is a probe there. He, will he be able to find it? Yes, he does, as well as the pylon. He guarantees the fact that his opponent is going for aggression. He already did before, to be honest with you. Uh, but for now, Dream really, really ramping up that defensive capability. As we still have Void Rays on the way. This, this gateway force that he goes in with as well needs to 
won't tank so much damage for those Void Rays to do the damage. This is going to be a difficult bust here for Daisy with all these bunkers down. Stim, 50% now. Factory almost complete, which means the Starport is going to be on its way shortly. There are four Marauders here, which obviously can't shoot up. But there are quite a few Marines combat shield on the way now as well. And the longer this goes on, the more difficult Daisy's going to have a time breaking this. The thing is, is that Daisy here, he's going to be, you know, trying to bring down the Marines as quickly as possible. So then the Void Rays are left over to kill off the Marauders. But we'll, we'll, what we'll see is probably Dream pull SCVs to tank a lot from the, for the Marines as well. Yeah. Good micro. And, you know, he sees everything that's going on. He knows that this aggression is on the way. Dream is so well prepared for so long. And oh. scans again, sees no <laughs> expansion. He sees no gas units on the ground. Two Stalkers and a Sentry. But he scanned double gas now. He must be thinking to himself, what the hell, this has to be a Stargate play, it doesn't make any more sense. And he's building Marines from the tech labs now. He knows that he doesn't need Marauders. And look at that, the Void oh. Rays charging up on the Stalker Shields here. Three Void Rays. Is he going to be able to break this? He's going to try and focus down one of those bunkers. One of the Void Rays did lose its uh, fo focus there. As for now, he's trying to bring it down, but good repair all from the SCVs. Oh. A really nice force field. Tries to split them out. Really nice micro from the supply depots as well. There is Dream saves a lot of those units. Combat Shields is done now. And it looks like another bunker is about to complete behind the initial one here and more and more Marines are coming out. The Void Ray control has to be spectacular if he wants to be able to beat Dream. Yeah, he's trying to bring him back to the side. This, uh, rem this reminds me of a very old-style Protoss play, charging up on buildings at the very front of a Terran space when they wall off. And for now, he's actually bringing me down the gas as well, trying to get them charged up. But there's so many units out for He has 14 Marines to complement those six Marauders. And can Daisy get enough damage done? Daisy's yeah. doing a good job here. We need to see a Viking come out as soon as that medivac yeah. is done. You can't actually deal uh, with this with just Marines. You need to get Vikings. And he's supply blocked right now, so anything that he oh. can try and produce is going to be deterred. He's building some supply depots in the back of his base, trying to keep them away from the Void Rays for as long as possible. And that pylon going down as well, meaning that we can see Daisy now warp in. He's made such a good meal out of what has actually happened here. And here comes the Viking. Well, that's a really late Viking. And it looks like Daisy's going to push up here. Oh, there's so much DPS. Those bunkers holding strong for just a little bit longer. They are full on health here. But those Viking, uh, Void Rays still doing so much damage. Right now, we still have only six Marines and two Marauders left. Seven, uh, it's 18 SCVs to 27 probes. Daisy, somehow, someway, after being scouted out completely, is still doing so much damage. Oh, and those SCVs are just going down so fast. Now the Viking's out, and he's oh. going to start to do damage from a distance here. And he's going to have have to stay around the, the bunkers, but there's no money left. He's not mining here. He's going to try and focus down this Viking. Ooh, trying to poke forward. Those stalkers are going to help him out quite a lot as well. The Zealots managed to end up going down, but the command center falls. Daisy with a really, really nice pickup. There's not that many workers left. He's going to go for the final push here. All the SCVs trying to get into the fray as well, just dancing around in the back. There's only six Marines, two Marauders left over. They're trying to take down the Void Race. They do take down one. There's only one left. They're focusing down a few more units. And he will be able to push it back just for now, but Dream taking so much damage. There is only three Marines and a single Marauder left. The Viking has to land to fight on the ground, and it looks like Dream is putting up the hole, but there's more units going to keep on coming through. One Medivac is going to keep on healing. He's picking up the Marauder. Oh my god, great micro from Dream. Look at that Marauder. It's in red, and he's doing it with so minimal amounts of units. This is great play from Dream. Really utilizing those bunkers in the back as well there to get away from the Zealots, but there's now three workers to 28. Anything Dream can try and transition on from here, Daisy is probably going to be able to crush it. He has to salvage the bunkers. He doesn't have any money to do anything oh, else. Oh, the Marauder gets slashed up there and there's just nothing left. A single Marine, a single Medivac, and these units that Daisy has left is going to be enough to bring this series equal. Daisy with a strong game. GG! Poland, we are tied up one to one as Daisy brings it back. Really nice micro from Dream there, but at the end of the day, he still was only at three SCVs by the time that the Void Race fell. Daisy scrapes a win there against Dream.
very, very interesting to see that. How, again, especially considering how well Daisy, uh, D Dream even scouted everything out. He knew the natural wasn't down for so long. He knew some aggression had to be coming, but that's how hard it can be to deal with. And again, it reminds me of very old PVT. You, you saw that quite a bit, um, just charging up on buildings on the extremities of someone's base. And that's very old school. I mean, whenever, yeah. whenever anybody used to wall with two supply depots, mm -hmm. the, one of the older responses from Protoss was to get a Void Ray. Yep. Because you can't, the, the supply depots are going to go down. And the late Viking in that game really hurt Dream. But as you said, supply blocked, he really couldn't do anything about it. I used, to, I used to use that build a lot. It was so much fun when I was back playing Protoss. But guys, we're going to send it to the analysis desk with Jarrett, QXC, and Todd. Daisy, proximal Stargate again. This time it is successful. He only built one. How safe is that opening? Um, a lot of that opening really d relies on your opponent not scouting it. And Dream did a really good job of scouting the obvious places. He checked the base of the left of his main. He scouted around the map. He scouts his third. He scans. He checks the natural. But Daisy put it in a pretty unconventional spot. You usually don't proxy it above that base like that. And so that, that really gave him the edge in making this build work. Um, OK, Dream, he opened standard on this map, which I think is very smart, because Antiga is definitely one of the better maps for Terran versus Protoss. So you don't need to do anything special. Don't risk going for three command center here. And uh, we see, actually, there was a huge mistake by Daisy. He had his stalkers, his stalker around here. And the probe got up and saw that there was no nexus early on. So then after that, Dream, he was very suspicious of what might happen. So at 6.20 here, he scans, and he sees this. All these many probes, uh, one gateway, one car. He should know there's something headed his way. Since there's the two gases, there's a couple of possibilities. There could be a proxy robo, DTs, but most particularly on this map, blink stalkers with three or four gates with an observer usually. So now. He has to narrow down what he thinks might be coming his way. And yep. uh, he's basically going to decide that this is Blink Stalker from here. So it does not make an eBay, which is good a lot of the time. Because against targets, you can just make turrets against DTs as well. And really lacking this eBay, it was so bad for Dream in this game. He makes the one bunker here to defend against the Blink Stalkers. And um, he leaves one Marine here in this one bunker, which is very smart as well. Uh, he's not overcommitting to this. And he's just going to fly back his command center in his main in a minute here. But at this point already, this is not very good for Dream. Like I feel he could have defended this attack, but if he had two reds, it would have been so much easier. And uh, not getting two reds really made it that much harder for him to hold this attack from Daisy. Daisy, he didn't overcommit. He made the pylon down the... down. I don't know how even how to say it, like down the ramp. Just like below the yeah, cliff? Yeah, exactly, below the cliff. Uh, and he, he could reach the gas, the SCVs with the void rays. They, they were charged up permanently. And this was just so smart and so well executed by Daisy here. But definitely Dream, uh, he can have some regrets after this game. Yeah. What, one of the things that was, we were talking about how we, we saw that Dream thought it was Blink Stalkers. And there were a couple of reasons for that. He put two bunkers in his main. One is kind of in the middle at the top area where you can prevent the blink up. And one is at the top of the ramp so that he also can't go up there. Against blink stalkers, you usually don't need a bunker kind of at the very bottom of your base where the void ray was near the end of the game. There was that pylon warp in. Because if your opponent blinks up there, he's trapped. You can surround him with SCVs. He doesn't really have a lot of room to maneuver. And the moment he blinks up, his blink's going to be on cooldown. You can do a lot of damage. If Dream had thought it was Void Rays, there absolutely is a bunker at that spot, 100%. The other thing that, that, that we noticed that made, it, that made it obvious that Dream thought it was Blink Stalker is he goes double tech lab on his barracks and no add-on on the third barracks, and he goes two Marauders at a time and one Marine. This is a complete anti-Blink Stalker response. Getting a lot of Marauders that early makes it much easier to defend that. And when he realized, he sees uh, Daisy's army outside his base and it's very zealot stalker heavy, he knows, okay, boom, it's Void Race. And that's when he starts marine production, but by that point, it's just too late. The next map is Entombed Valley. Are we going to see more proxies, maybe DTs this time? You know what, Daisy, it feels like he really wants to be aggressive. He does not want to take it to the late game and dream. If he chooses to, to go for three command center on this map and Daisy goes for a cheese, uh, 
there is a very good chance it might succeed. Yep. All right. Well, the, the players are in the game. The casters are ready. Let's enjoy another probably fast and aggressive game.